Good afternoon, I'm Mattia Baiutti, researcher at Fondazione Intercultura in Italy. The title of my article is Developing and Assessing Intercultural Competence During a Mobility Program for Pupils in Upper Secondary School, the Intercultura Assessment Protocol. I would like to begin my presentation underlined that although pupil mobility is a core educational activity within the process of internationalizing secondary school education, only modest efforts have been made to investigate this important phenomenon. The aim of my article is twofold. First, it presents an assessment framework the Intercultural Assessment Protocol, which can help sending school teacher in assessing the intercultural competence level acquired by those pupils who participate in an individual year-long international program. Second, the article shows the pedagogical value of this protocol. This article is based on an action research conducted by Fondazione Intercultura in collaboration with the University of Udine. The study involved more than 100 secondary school teachers from almost all the regions of Italy, who had at least one pupil abroad. In addition, an international group of experts was consulted. The main result of this study is the Intercultura Assessment Protocol. This protocol follows a multi-method and multi-perspective and longitudinal approach. This means that teachers follow a systematic process of collecting data while pupils are abroad and during the first months after they return to their sending school using different tools logbooks, reality tests, observation forms, and so on, and from multi-perspective, such as uh, classmates, school staff, teacher, parents. The teacher then triangulate all the gathered data and define the level for each component of intercultural competence achieved by the pupil. And this process is guided by and reported on an assessment rubric. During the study, some results shed light on the fact that the Intercultural Assessment Protocol is not only an assessment framework, but it is also an instrument to enhance pupils' intercultural competence in its own right. Indeed, according to participants, some tools, especially those requiring deep reflection on the self and on the intercultural experience, foster pupil self-awareness and critical thinking, which are key aspects of intercultural competence. To conclude, the lesson learned is that in order to design research-based assessment tools as pedagogy, it might be essential to include some elements within the assessment instruments design and assessment practice, such as adopting an action research method which involves directly those who will formally assess learners. Second, training those who will implement the assessment tools about the concept of intercultural competence and its assessment. Three, tailoring the instrument to the cultural and institutional context and to the learner needs. Four, designing tools which require deep reflection during the experience abroad and in retrospect. Five, provide personalized feedback to learners about the learning process during the learning process itself and also at its conclusion. I really hope you will enjoy reading the article. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you for your attention. Grazie.